Akita is a seriously impressive breed. They're extremely loyal guardians to their human companions and their devotion is lifelong. In today's video, we'll be comparing this strong and powerful breed with the XL Bully. One of the four types of American bullies, they have an athletic and muscular build which explains their incredible power and agility. Welcome back to the Fenrir Akita Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Akita. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Akitas. So if you're a lifelong Akita lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Akita video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. First, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Akita gets its name from the province of Akita in northern Japan, where it's believed to have originated from. Their known existence goes back to the 1600s, a time when the breed guarded the Japanese royalty and were used for hunting fowl and larger game, including animals such as bears. The breed was introduced to America by a woman named Helen Keller. The Japanese presented her with an Akita pup, which was the first Akita puppy to be brought to the USA. However, sadly this pup died at a very young age of a viral disease. The Japanese government presented Helen Keller with her first puppy's older brother after the upsetting ordeal of losing her first pup. After World War II, American servicemen that had been stationed in Japan brought back more of the remarkable dogs. The American Akita developed into a more robust dog than the Japanese Akita and so was highly valued. Both variations of the breed are historically and well renowned for fearlessness and loyalty. American bullies first made their debut in the US in 1990 when breeders started to develop a companion and show dog through the crossing of the American Pit Bull Terriers and American Staffordshire Terriers. They wanted a dog that didn't have a high drive and dog aggression, but that had the looks and build of a pit bull type dog. Many breeders across the United States began developing the breed through the use of American and English Bulldogs, Old English Bulldogs, Bull Mastiffs, Bull Terriers, Rotties and other crossbreeds. Due to the amount of breeders involved in the development of the American Bully, there are quite a lot of different looks and sizes which come with being much smaller than others. Male Akita stand at 26 to 28 inches at the shoulder, weighing around 85 to 130 pounds. Female Akitas are usually from 24 to 26 inches and weigh between 70 and 110 pounds. Akitas can come in many different coat colours and combinations, including black, white, chocolate, combination of colour, brindle or white. They have a double layer coat with a very dense undercoat and a short top coat. In total, there are five different size variations from pocket size through to extreme. The American Bully Extra Large is simply a larger variant of the standard size American Bully. The standard stands at 17 to 20 inches tall at the shoulder with a dense body structure described as a medium sized dog. An adult male extra large bully must measure at 20 to 23 inches at the shoulder, with female extra large bullies standing at 19 to 22 inches. Extra large bullies have heavy heads, short muzzles, and a dense muscle structure and concise body, wrinkly face, deep set eyes, and close fitting jaws and lips. It's super important to consider the potential health conditions that your dog could be prone to, as you'll need to be able to afford to care for them as they need it. The Akita is a generally healthy dog but can be prone to certain conditions including hip dysplasia, bloat, hypothyroidism and other genetic glandular conditions and eye problems. The American Bully can be prone to certain health conditions including hip and elbow dysplasia, eye problems like cataracts, hypothyroidism, heat intolerance and heart issues. American Bullies are commonly happy characters that were developed to be companions who grow extremely strong bonds with their humans. They may have a look of toughness about them but they are actually very soft in character and they love spending as much time as they can with their owners. They're known to be very good with children but as with all dogs you should be supervising your dog when they're with your children as dogs need to be well socialised and children need to be taught how to properly behave around dogs. With plenty of socialisation and consistent training from a young age, the extra large bully can grow into a very well balanced and confident dog around unfamiliar people and situations. There are intelligent dogs that are eager to please and so can be trained very well and have even been trained to compete in different canine sporting activities. The Akita is a bold, confident and strong-willed dog which is extremely devoted and loyal to their family. They're naturally wary of strangers which is due to being bred to guard and protect their family at all costs. 
They can be aggressive towards other dogs that they're unfamiliar with, especially those of the same sex, so are best suited to a one dog household. The Akita is affectionate and playful with their family. They long for the companionship and will want to be a part of daily activities. They can be quite mouthy and love to be carrying toys or household items around. An Akita's strong personality can be overwhelming and so they need an owner that's familiar with their character and is able to handle them well. They are a breed that needs plenty of exercise both physically and mentally in order to prevent boredom which could lead to unwanted destructive behaviours. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Akita videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Akita show.